hey, I am John, and in this video, we'll be exploring a summary of the role of local chapter leader for Real Talk. And of course, if you have any questions about any of the content here, feel free to reach out. There's also a lot of information on our website. Uh, so first of all, what is Real Talk? Well, Real Talk entertains while building cross-cultural communities and actively combating social and political polarization. We create fun, interactive, multimedia community events exploring all sides of contemporary divisive issues. So things like masculinity, uh, gender pronouns, and many, many more. These are facilitated with small group discussions, uh, impartial lectures showing off both sides of the discussion, themed music, artwork, uh, we have games, uh, panelists, Q&As, and lots more. So there's a lot going on in these events. Uh, since 2017, Real Talk has hosted more than 200 events for more than 8,000 people in multiple cities across Asia and online, and now we're expanding our reaches even further. You'll be making loads of friends through facilitating these events, and uh, you'll be diving headfirst into the facts and the figures of some of the world's most divisive and confusing, perplexing issues. Um, and while you do that, you'll be earning a pretty penny. LCLs receive uh, a fair hourly base play pay plus commission for each paying guest. So this works out to somewhere between on the low end, about $600 a month is really the, the least that you could possibly earn. But if you do a really good job and are bringing in, you know, let's say 80 or 100 people to these events each week, uh, which we've definitely already done with local chapters in the past, works out to closer to like $6,000 a month. And this is in most US cities. Uh, the specific amounts change depending on the location, but at least in the US, those would be the figures. The commission amount is on a sliding scale. So if not very many guests come, the per person commission that you'd receive is quite low. Let's say something like $2 uh, per person. But if more people come, let's say you have 40 or 50 people coming, well then the per person commission increases. So you might be earning four or $5 per person. So what do local chapters receive in support from Real Talk? You'll get the lecture slides, uh, guides on exactly what each slide means, what the intention of these slides are, uh, discussion questions for the community. We've already produced the games, already produced the artwork, the songs, uh, the prompts for community arts. We have videos that we'll send to you uh, with recordings of, um, of interviews with experts. And of course, we'll also offer a lot of guidance and support along the way. Okay, so let's look at the specific responsibilities of local chapter leaders. So um, we do our best um, at Real Talk to make sure that local chapter leaders are never asked to work more than 50 15 hours a week. For these 15 hours of work, um, you are paid a fair hourly wage. And uh, in addition to hosting the events, which might take, you know, an hour, two and a half hours, maybe a little after party, in addition to all those things, we do ask that you complete a combination of different preparatory, uh, preparatory tasks. So things like uh, admin before the event even takes place, attending team meetings, etc., cetera, uh, and then also preparation for the presentation. So reviewing the slides, asking any questions. Um, and then on the day, we also make sure that you do things like check the weather and confirm with the venue. Uh, and then after the event, <laughs> There's also some more admin tasks, things like uploading uh, photos that were taken at the events um, and maybe writing up a summary of what your experience was like. So we ask you to do all those things. Now, those are all required for a local chapter leader. Um, and there are some other things that are not required, but you're just encouraged uh, to do because we have found that they make the events much, much better. So these are things uh, like reaching out to the local community to see if there are any experts in the community who might want to participate in these events. Um, also so things like posting things on social media, things like the um, artwork prompts or any of the artwork for discussion or any videos of, of music, um, any videos that are related elsewhere in the uh, elsewhere on the internet, just trying to stoke the fire in people uh, to get them excited for these events. The last thing that I want to talk about is the hiring process and, and our onboarding process. Um, so in order to become a full-fledged local chapter leader, um, you and I are going to have a meeting just to make sure that you know what you're signing up for and if we think that you'd be a good fit off the bat. After that, we're going to send you some samples of our event resources and ask you to make a presentation video. Um, just 10, 20 minutes, nothing too big. Um, after that, uh, if you make the cut, if we think that you do a great job at presenting this 
content um, and leading the discussions, then we're gonna ask you for uh, an, an official interview. It takes about an hour. Make sure that we're just clear on exactly what the role expectations are, the way that you're gonna be paid, what the rules for facilitating these events are, etc. You're gonna be asked to complete a two-week paid onboarding training program. Now, this is about 12 hours of work per week for a total of 24 hours. Uh, and then there are four events that you would host that make up your probationary period. Uh, so after those four events are done, then you are a full-fledged local chapter leader. So that is kind of everything to understand the local chapter leader role. I hope that you explore our website. I hope that you reach out for some questions and I hope to get to meet you soon so that we can actually start this process. Um, we're going to take over the whole world with these events and the world is going to become a much better place for it. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon. Bye.